My name is Buddy Lemon, International Sales and Marketing Manager for QSA Global. Jake Bourne is going to demonstrate how the Open Vision method is used in risk-based inspection and high-speed CUI screening. During Jake's demonstration, please send your questions through the live chat feature, and we will answer them during the Q&A session following the showcase. In talking with many of you over the years, we've come to understand that there is no unified path or standard practice to manage corrosion under insulation. Everybody's managing it differently, and few companies have a good handle on how to manage it. In some parts of the world, the strategy for CUI is to strip the insulation, including good insulation, to look for potential problems. But what we often find is there are no metrics. What is your find rate? What is the true damage of the coating? What is the true damage of the substrate? How much piping or insulation is non-fit for purpose? Asset owners are spending tens of millions of dollars a year stripping good insulation looking for a potential problem without any data to support the activity. Other parts of the world rely heavily on NDT. CUI inspection as an NDT activity is a lagging indicator because of the damage has already occurred. When you show up to assess piping, all you can determine is the condition, whether there is damage or degradation and what you have left to work with. For CUI, piping ages, sheathing is not maintained, and the condition of insulation can vary. If you're not sealing up the separations, not making the repairs to the sheathing, your CUI susceptible inventory continues to grow and puts a greater burden on your inspection program. When you have deferred maintenance, you add more issues to manage, which puts the burden on a suite of ND2 tools. This is where you must use data and engineering rigor. Two common approaches for using NDT to manage CUI are time-based inspections, TBI, and risk-based inspections, RBI. In a TBI program, you repeat an inspection activity at a set interval based on the class, such as every three or five years. In an RBI program, you have technical drivers that initiate inspection activity. Asset owners are realizing that time-based inspections are not meeting the objective of understanding the damage mechanisms and are putting more emphasis on RBI as a data-driven approach to managing CUI. Let's look at a few examples. Consider a plant in a tropical jungle environment where it rains so much that there's no chloride buildup on the piping. It just washes right off. However, you have insulated piping. So after that monsoon season, it would be ideal to go out there and assess the barrier and the sheathing to look for wet insulation and corrosion byproduct. Another example of whether in seasonal changes in forming your RBI program is in the Middle East. Frequent large temperature differentials result in condensation even in the dry desert environment. In Alaska, insulation can go from wet to dry and you can see the water migrate. Water may enter in one place, but it may accumulate in another. You need to understand that transmission of moisture in your piping systems. These examples show that there are very challenging elements of CUI, and there, this is where NDT and application of a proper RBI program work best. With an RBI approach, you need to be agile. You need to have the tools available that you can take off the shelf with competent operators and go out there to screen and assess your higher risk piping quickly. With something like the Open Vision DX, you can cover a lot of linear footage in a shift day, week, or month. This allows you to do scans more frequently as needed. There is not a single NDT technique or method that you can use in every CUI inspection situation and configuration that will accomplish the objective. You need a suite of NDT tools, and the Open Vision method is part of that toolbox. 
It combines real-time radiography with the speed of a handheld system to perform qualitative screening of a lot of insulated piping quickly. The third generation Open Vision system, the Open Vision DX, consists of a 70 kV X-ray tube with a digital imaging detector in a C-arm configuration. To visualize the real-time radiography, you have a host of options. You have plug-in monocle safety glasses. You have a lightweight plug-in monitor. And we also offer a wireless option. To perform real-time radiography with the Open Vision system, it's very simple. First step is you collapse the, the C-arm to the size of the diameter of the pipe that you're going to be scanning. Then position the handles to exactly where you need it for ergonomic positioning. Now you're ready to initiate x-rays. To perform the real-time radiography scanning, what's going to happen is I'm going to initiate the trigger. It's going to give you a five-second warning. And you're also going to see the amber light turn on. So you have multiple methods of letting you know when our x-ray is going to be engaged. Once the x-rays are engaged, you can begin your scan. And you're performing real-time radiography. So you've identified your corrosion susceptible inventory, which is dynamic. And now you can bring the open vision in to cover a lot of linear footage to identify damaged inventory. The operator is looking for corrosion byproducts, blisters and corrosion scale. When damage is identified, the operator can easily snap a picture or record a video. These photos and videos can be later easily downloaded to a USB stick for reviewing and reporting. With the susceptible inventory screen with the Open Vision DX and damage identified, you can now efficiently perform fitness for service calculations, which inform your maintenance and RBI programs. Please stay connected with us as we open up the discussion to a live Q&A session. You can continue to submit your questions in the chat during the Q&A as well.